Recapping Amherst 22-10 win over Bates with first-year head man Sean Woods. First of all, Coach, congratulations on the victory. And it's still very early in the season for your team. It's only game number three right now uh, on the campaign. Today, kids really handled a couple of things. Situational lacrosse. Let's go back to the end of the first quarter. Clemente gets you a goal in a situational play at the end of the quarter. And a team like Bates, which is searching for momentum, you grab it back from them with a great play at the end of the quarter. What does that do for your team when you get a play like that? Oh, it was a huge play. And, and it definitely feels like early season for us because we've only had this is our third game. And the first quarter sort of showed that we were early in the season. We didn't play our best. But it's great to finish a quarter like that. Second quarter, though, you guys caused turnovers and Nicholas Kopp and your face-off unit really dominated things. Talk about why gaining that type of possession dominance uh, and keeping it away from the other team really allowed you all to seize the momentum and eventually produce what turned out to be a 13-goal run that helped you blow the game open. Absolutely. And, and you know, we consider ourselves a high-scoring team, so to have a face-off guy that, that can be dominant just helps us get the ball back and get more shots. And so for Nick to have such a great day really benefit our offense. And it benefits our defense, too, because it keeps them fresh. You guys got a lot of offense today from a lot of people. Your team seemed to share the ball, uh, being willing passers uh, throughout six-on-six -six play especially. You got great EMO play there at the start of that third quarter. Thoughts on the way you guys executed as, the game, as you got into the game, the quality of the offense really seemed to get better. I love our unselfishness. I mean, really, we had, I think, 13 you know, scores today and just kind of speaks to our leadership. We've always talked about being a share the ball, unselfish offense. We don't really care who scores as long as we score. And it showed today. You know, we weren't perfect. We still have a long way to go to, to, to be the best version of Amherst lacrosse that we can be. But I was really proud of the unselfishness today for sure. And, you know, to have a defense to, to go out and execute the way they did, um, really, it was nice to have a full field game. When you have a guy on attack that's got the size Brock does, I mean, there are times where he's got, you know, one, two defenders on him. And he's still able to score because he's able to utilize that size. Just talk about what that has meant to your attack with a guy like that that can score no matter what the defense throws at him. I mean, he's so dynamic. For a big guy, he's got great hands. He shoots the ball well, and he can move. He's, he's got some athleticism to him. I'm just glad he, he plays for Amherst because he is a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody that faces him in practice. He's a problem. I and mean, we have one of the best defensive coordinators in the country, uh, Richard Carrington, who you know was on full display our defense today, just going in and out of zone and really with a lot of deception was, was, was awesome. But um, he says it every day. Brock is a problem. <laughs> Finally, as you guys try to build your resume, coming to a tournament like this where you can get two games in one trip, what does that do for you as you try to get your team, especially for you guys still in the infancy of your season, trying to get better each and every time? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. This is an awesome event. Other than Memorial Day weekend, this has got to be the premier Division Three lacrosse event in the country. And Stevenson University does such a great job. And it feels like May. So it gives us that, that feel of a May playoff game. And to have that experience in front of a great crowd and at a great venue is only going to help us moving forward. All right. Sean Woods' club will get Gettysburg coming up tomorrow afternoon. They get the win over Bates today here by a count of 22-10. to 10.